These guys are so cool, they're just waiting for the food right now. So this video is going to be pretty short. It's just going to be showing you the bluegill that I have in here and that I have in that tank over there. So it's just going to be an update on how they're doing. So if you watch my previous videos, you know that I was struggling to fish. So I got these bluegill and those bluegill at the same time. These guys were, were a little bigger when I got them. So there's like about 40 in there, about 40 in there. And when I got them, I quarantined them in this tank for about like two, three weeks just to make sure everything was fine before I add them into the aqua, actual aquaponic system. So now they've been in here for a good amount of time. I'll post how many months it is at the top corner. Um, so they've been doing good. I mean, I did lose a few small ones from in here. So I get some better footage with my GoPro here and there, which is natural to happen but I haven't lost any of these big ones, which is nice. So I'm assuming these guys are just stronger fish. It's hard to see because of the algae on here. And you get some like plecos to stick. And you get some plecos in for the tank so that they can clean all the surfaces. Well there you have it, that was just a quick update on the bluegill that I have in my aquaponic system. So after those months that I've had them in here, they're doing good, which is nice, which they're, so they're able to produce more waste to get the biological activity in my aquaponic system going. So if you have any questions or comments, remember to leave them below, and always give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.